All right, it's my favorite time of the day out here in the woods. It's late afternoon and I've had my lunch and now it's coffee time. So I thought I'd share with you the pot I'm gonna be using to boil my water to make my coffee today. This is the Fire Maple Frost. If you're interested in hearing about this little pot, keep watching. All right, quickly, I'd like to thank the people at Fire Maple for sending the frost out to me. Now, here's what's interesting. I didn't ask for this. Uh, it just arrived in the mail one day. They wanted to see what my thoughts are on it. And it was a little bit different in design. It, I didn't know if I was going to like it, but once I started playing with it and using it, yeah, it's got some really unique features. So what I thought I would do is just back the camera up a little bit, focus down on the pot itself. I'll give you some specifications for it and I'll talk about its key features, what makes it a little bit different than a lot of other pots on the market. And then I'll boil some water in it, of course, to make some coffee. So once again, this is the Fire Maple Frost. And uh, so what stand, makes this stand out from a lot of pots that I've seen recently is that, um, well, it's weight. It only comes in at 5.3 ounces, which is 154 grams. So it's a lightweight pot. And the reason they can do that, of course, is it's made from aluminum. Now, wait before you turn it off saying, Mark, I won't use aluminum for anything. This is anodized. You can see it's got an anodized finish on the outside, a nice frosty look to it. And I'm sure that's where the name frost came from. So when you anodize aluminum, you're protecting yourself from any aluminum coming off in your food. And that's exactly what the anodization does to this. It also hardens the aluminum. It gives it a very strong nature, less re more resistant to dent, less likely to dent is what I was going to say, and less likely to scratch as well. So yeah, it, it also makes it very attractive looking. So that's number one, very lightweight. I'll give you the rest of the specifications in a moment. The other thing is this has a stand-up bale, which stands up very nicely and is removable. We'll talk about that in a moment. And it has a handle on the side. Now it's stores right on the side. This is a removable locking handle. So you can see where it inserts. I might as well demonstrate that now. You can either put it in from the top, put it in from the bottom. I like putting it in from the bottom. I think it just, the uh, dynamics of the way it works is a little bit better. So locks on like that. It looks loose, but it's not going to fall off. It's, it's because it's uh, that locking bar. So when you're ready to pour from it, you can just use the handle to tip it and pour. Now, a couple of things here. You don't have to take either of these. If you want to reduce the weight by leaving these home, because, well, the handle and the bale are made of stainless steel, but you can take both of them off or go one with the uh, or the other. Take the bale off if all you want to use the handle. Take the handle off if all you want to use is the bale. And you can pour it with the bale alone by itself as well. The trick that we've all done with the locking lugs on the Zebra Bella parts is you can hold it like that. If it locks, if the bale locks upright, you can pour using just the bale. So either one works. So it's made of anodized aluminum. It has a bale and a handle and it has measurements on the inside. Actually, they show through on the outside as well. So you can measure all of your volume of this. It is a 900 milliliter pot, which is 30.4 ounces. But when I measured, that's up to the top, right up to the very top. So you wouldn't put 900 milliliters of fluid in here. Here. But this graduated mark right here, which is about uh, a little more than three quarters of an inch from the top, it marks off at 800 milliliters. I think that's a good, safe, functional level to put anything in. I wouldn't go any higher than 800. More often than not, I wouldn't even go much more than two cups, three cups, which is 750 mils. So you've got a safe working room inside of this for putting water in or anything else in that you want to bring to a boil. It is really simple really lightweight and I've really come to like it. But how does it operate? Well, I've got my Fire Maple Hornet 2 butane stove set up here. Why don't we boil some water and make some coffee? All right, so I set up my uh, alcohol, or my gas stove in a fire pit today just because it is a little bit breezy, breezy and I failed to bring a windscreen as I had planned to. So this is my Fire Maple Hornet 2 titanium gas stove. I will be reviewing that separately, but I just wanted to show it to you in action here. And uh, let's just get that lit. Lots of power going with that. Make sure needles and everything are off the bottom. Really, there's not much more to see until that comes to a boil and then I'll make some coffee. All right, my water has come to a boil. Turn the stove off so that you can hear me. A little bit noisy, but not too bad. Let me just put the pot here on the rock for a second so I can attach the handle on the side. 
for pouring purposes. And I'm using my AeroPress. And you gotta know, it's still Rampage Coffee, right? So, take the lid off. Nice stand-up D-ring on this as well. That's something else I wanted to point out. And make sure I don't burn myself. I think what I'll do is just hold that still using a spoon. Give it a tiny stir to make sure it's all mixed through. Probably get a touch more water in there as well. All right, that's all there is to it. Put the filter and cap on. Leave it set for a few minutes. I'll push it through into my mug and then we'll have some closing thoughts on the frost from Fire Maple. Coffee's all pressed through, but you can see, yeah, I'm not even going to try just how hot it is inside of this Keith double wall titanium mug. It's going to stay warm for a little while, so I'll just put that down. You know, I don't think I showed you this, the stuff sack. This is the stuff sack that the Fire Maple Frost came in. Nice, so of course. Now, you'll note right away that I have not put this over a wood fire. I don't know that I will. I've got so many other pots that are all blackened up that I don't see any reason to blacken this one up, but up. not for any special reason other than maybe just keeping it clean. Um, it will withstand the heat because that's another attribute of being anodized is that they can withstand heat better than plain aluminum. And if you keep fluids in it, you're not gonna have an issue either. I just thought I'd keep this one nice and clean for use over either alcohol stoves or butane stoves like I did today. Okay, so uh, I guess the question is, is why would you want to buy an anodized aluminum pot instead of going right to a titanium pot? Well, the answer to that is pretty easy, cost. So I did some comparisons. I just, where did I put my glasses? I did some comparisons. Fire Maple also sells a 900 milliliter pot made of titanium they call the Alti. And if you're interested, I'd recommend, I'll put the link for that in the video description as well, just so you can take a look at it. It's a little bit on the rich side, although at the time of this video recording, it, there's a tremendous sale on. So if you are looking for this style of pot, you, you may want to take advantage of it now. But the cost difference is, well, this is selling for, and these are Canadian prices, $36.20. That's pretty darn cheap when you think about it. And at the same time, the titanium version of this now it does look a little different it has bale handles it has a bale like or not bale handles fold out handles on the sides a bale and a little pour spout and uh, it's selling for $78.99 uh, that's twice the price right that's twice the price to get the titanium pot also 900 milliliters over this lightweight aluminum pot when I say lightweight it's actually lighter than the titanium pot. So this pot comes in at 154 grams, as I mentioned a minute ago. The Alti titanium pot from Fire Maple comes in at 188.7. Not a lot of extra weight, but it is extra. So if what you're looking for is lightweight and versatility, and save some money on the way, I think this makes a good choice. Now, I'm not saying I don't think that the Alti is a good pot. I think I'd love to have it, but I don't, and I don't know that they want to send me one, but this makes a good alternative to the Alti if you're on a bit of a budget. Same volume pot, does all the same things, just a little lighter and a little bit, well, half the price of the other one. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say about it. I really like that the features on this. I like that this is removable, now, it's a little different. Maybe it would have been nicer if it had fold-out ones on the side. But the idea of taking it off and saving yourself a little bit of weight, and I'll put the weight difference with these two things and without them in the video description if you're interested. But at the same time, you can store it away on the side like this. Good to go. Oh, did I mention the stand-up D-ring? Another nice feature as well. So, yeah, that works as well. So it kind of holds together all nicely. It's a little, it's not real loose, but it's loose enough on top that it's not going to snug down. You're not going to lose it because the bale tips move in a little bit when the bales fall down and they tend to resist. They tend to resist this thing falling off. All right, no big deal, right? Yeah, just a nice small pot and inexpensive and made of anodized aluminum. 
all good features. Again, I didn't think it was something I was going to enjoy, but this I can see taking out more often either with an alcohol stove or a small butane stove. Now, I mentioned earlier that I've been testing out the Fire Maple Hornet 2 butane stove, which is a titanium stove. I'm going to do a separate review on that, and uh, so just watch for that if you're interested. Great performing stove, to say the least. All right. That's everything I have. I'll give you all the specifications and uh, the links to where you can take another look at this in the video description. If you have any comments or questions on it, please put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path to lift travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.